I'm putting the MS440 uh, crankcase together and I thought I'd uh, show you what um, what tools I used. I, I set it up on some wood um, so that there was room underneath it and I took um, a heat gun just an old heat gun and heated the uh, the area not not the crank but the case um, up to 230 degrees with it I started out on low and um, when it got up to uh, around 190 degrees I in increased the temperature and pulled back on the heat gun a little bit and it took it another minute or two to get um, you know uh, in the 230 degree range and I picked the crank up and literally pushed it down in there didn't um, I hit it uh, in any way uh, I'll do the other side and, and show you Oh, and an important element, still pretty warm. Look at my seal. I looked up on that. I, um, I oiled the, uh, the shaft heavily and uh, it, it pushed through. I don't know if I'll be that lucky on the, on the other um, end. Okay, now I put the, the pins in and I've laid the gasket on. Starting out at 90 degrees. Hundred and fourteen. This is probably going to pucker.
177. I'm probably about eight or nine inches, maybe six. I'm, I'm not good. About six inches. Away from the surface. Hundred and sixty. Hundred and seventy two. It's hard to get it up to 230 in the open air like this. I'm inside. The inner race is hotter than the outside. Inner race is 230. I think I'm going to go for it. And I think I changed my mind. I'm going to do without that 10 full. I'm afraid it'll get in there and cause a problem. I'll roll it up, keep my fingers crossed. Now all I got to do is just, I was going to remove it anyway. I'll just remove it assembled. Oops. Okay. Okay, I believe I'll go to the screws now. Now, I just had a struggle. Uh, but I think it's... I'll have to get out the feeler gauge and tap her, but I think it's pretty close. And... Uh, what I did off camera, because there's no way to record it, it was 
was twisting and turning it and, and whatever was the uh, the the pins I had to kind of make sure that they were going in the holes uh, the two locator pins and uh, I flipped it over and I dropped my um, the three main screws in the in the center and began to tighten them and I got them fairly tight and then went out to the peripheral area with the screws and uh, I gave it one love tap when it was 95% there I uh, I wasn't convinced that my pin wasn't binding on one end and uh, boom uh, it, it fell in place and then I, I tightened uh, my other screws um, you know extremely tight so I've got it unloaded it's got it's, it's stuck but that's normal. All right, um, that is uh, the case, and, and you know, uh, I figured that was going to jump out, but it didn't. Uh, I bet I still have to replace it for some reason, but uh, and, and this one usually behaves for me. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. But that was a good. Uh, a very good farmer tech gasket uh, it just felt like um, you know a, a really good material I don't know um, everything about it but I've, I've certainly felt some sorry gaskets okay so this is the farmer tech 440 um, chainsaw uh, bill kit and uh, this is the portion where I start and I get um, my, my case assembled.